Wow. Welcome to the part two of the explanatory solution to the ICT IGCSE specimen paper for 2016. Okay, so this is the database parts. You are now going to prepare some to report for the company. Make sure all currency values are in euros to two decimal places. Using a suitable database package, import the file system cast.csv. CSV stands for comma separated values or variables. It is a generic file format for database or spreadsheets software. So S16 cars, we are importing it. We are not supposed to open it from here. So I go to my Microsoft Access external data. That data is from an external source. We go to external data under import and link. You go to text file and browse. So where you have it. So my desktop. Okay. Okay. Existing cars the CSV. Okay. Use the field names and data types. Okay. Okay, the first option. Next. First row contains field names. This is a first row VIN model par, which are my field names. So I select this. Next, go to advanced to do some quick settings. Okay, my VIN is text, my module is text, short text, text. My par is text, engine size is also text. It's very important you change this to text. This will ensure that your data will not be, some of your data will not be cut off or missing after an importing it. Cost price is currency. Color is text. Distributor is text. Dispatch is Boolean. That is my yes. Or no. Okay, that is done. Next. Okay, any primary key. Set the VI hand field as a key field. A key field is also known as primary key. A primary key is a field that uniquely identifies a record. So we are told to use a VI hand. So choose my home primary key, which is the VI hand. Next, okay, import to this table, finish, close, okay, this is the table, okay, import the file has system distributors.csv as a new table in your database. Go to external file, like external data, test file, distributors, existing distributors. Import the source data into a new table in the current database. Okay. Next. First row contains field names. Distributor code as a key field. Next. Distributor code. Okay. Next. Finish. Close. Okay. That is done. Okay. I need to do some adjustment for the S16 cast table. Right click. Design view. This is short test. Okay. Let me go back. Text, 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 currency, all currency must be in euro to two decimal places, euro, decimal places, two, two decimal places, 
color is text, distributor is text, dispatch is yes or no, but I was saying 0, minus 1. So I, I go to format here, yes or no, lookup is text box, okay, I'm good to go. I has to show the screenshots, the evidence of this. Just select this and go to your evidence document, which has been created before. Okay, the cast table, we paste it there. And I need that for the distributors table. Save. Okay, distributors table. Design view. Okay. Print screen. That's just enough. Distributors table. Okay. Display. Okay, this is done. Okay, this is done. Number 25. Create a one to one. Create a one-to-many relationship as a link between the distributor code field, distributor table, and the distributor field in the cast table. That is to make the database to be a relational database. Before this time, ICTIGCSE has always been on flat file database, which is a database that contains only one table. Or from this year 2016, it's now on relational database. That is a database that contains two or more tables that are linked together through their primary keys and secondary keys. So I'm going to create relationship between them. Okay. As a link between the distributor code field in the distributor table and distributor field in the cast table. So I go to database tools, relationships. So I need this first table and click on add, distributors table, add. Then I close that. Okay, you can expand it to see all the fields. Expand this to see all the fields. So let's see, this is the primary key for this VIN, the primary key for this VIN. What are we linking? We are linking the distributor, we are linking the distributor code field in the distributor table. This is distributor table, that's the distributor code field. We are linking it to distributor field in the cast table. So just come here, click, and then drag to distributor here. Let it touch distributor and then leave it there. You can see distributor code, distributor field. Okay. Create. That is done. Excellent. So we have linked the field here for this here. Great. Take screenshot evidence showing the relationship between the two tables. Insert a copy of this screenshot into your evidence document. So take screenshot of this. Cool, man. And insert it. This step to two. Okay. Just move this to put some effices. Okay. Twenty-five is done. Inside this three records into the S sixteen cars table. Okay, this is existing cast table. Control end to go to the last one and insert the new record here. So. Okay, so ensure you type in all the records without making any mistake. You will not have opportunity to do that in the exam because you'll be working with paper. 
but I have the opportunity to do that because I'm working the soft copy. Blue. Ensure you enter your values record by record to avoid any unforeseen occurrences. Five hundred. 5,000 red FMBSA no okay micro G six hundred eight five hundred red sorry for that red FMD has he FMD has he no okay check your data entry for errors ensure that no mistake is made okay that is done. Save the data. Control has to save it. Okay, so we are producing a report which contains a new field called delivered price, which is calculated at runtime. Okay, this field will calculate the cost price of the car plus the standard delivery charge of 200 euros. Shows only the record where the country is France and the cars have not been dispatched. Now, note that you cannot create a report without first creating a query. So I go to create, I create a query force, query wizard. Simple query wizard. Okay, so let me see some of the records. Shows only the fields VIN. Okay, I need VIN. Module, power. Engine size, cost price, color, ports, there's no ports there, distributor, and delivered price. Okay, so I'll pick that from the distributor's table. That is very, very important. You must ensure that you pick at least one per table so at the end of the day your query will be created on the relationship okay so i need ports from here okay i'll still do the rearrangement later okay i'm good to go with this save with this modify the query i like to call this first first query finish okay so i have this query contains a new field called delivered price so the new field can be here delivered price delivered underscore price full column then put the formula which we calculate the cost price square brackets costs underscore price anytime you are using a field in your calculation you must put it inside a square bracket cost price of the car plus a standard delivery charge of 200 plus 200 Okay, that is done. Let's run it and see the way it looks. Okay, delivered price, cost price plus 200, 
7500 euro here 7700 here good so we go back to our design view changes don't forget that all currency must be in euro two decimal places euro here decimal places two good so we are done with the first option and it is well done shows only the record where the country is france and the cars have not been dispatched okay the country is france do we have country here okay there's no country here you can just come here where, where do we have countries i think it's under distributors the distributor table there their country okay country is france under criteria france and the cars have not been dispatched the cars have not been dispatched Okay, the spash is on the cast table. So click the dispatched field here. Dispatch and no for the cars have not been dispatched. The country is France and the cars have not been dispatched. Let's run it and see the results. So we have France here. Dispatch is no. That is correct okay so this is done okay shows only the fuse vin module sort the data into ascending order of vin okay can go here design view vin Sort to ascending order of VIN. Okay, can now begin to create the report because we have our query intact. So go to create report wizard. Report wizard here. Okay, so we are creating our report from the first query. Shows only the field VIN module power engine size cost price color ports ports distributor distributor and delivered price in that order next 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 don't bother to change anything here whatever you change here and change the order of your fields okay what's the orientation we are using as a page orientation of landscape okay so we're using landscape i pick landscape from there to ascending order of vi hang okay so this is done next okay what's the include the heading dispatch manifest ports pressed okay you can just do that here as the heading dispatched okay i want to ensure that 100 percent correct dispatched manifest hot pressed at the top of the page then modify the des the report design finish uh, 
rates. So I have that here. Okay, sort the data into ascending order of VRN. Calculate the total number of cars in this selection and place it at the bottom of the report. Okay. At the bottom of the report, that is report footer. Report header is the first page, the back of your report. White page header shows the heading, what will appear on all your pages, the pages of your report. Page footer will appear on all the the footers of your report where report footer will show at the end of the last page at the bottom of the last page of your report that's the report footer so we are calculating the total number of cars in this selection and places it at the bottom of the report so this is the bottom of the report so we are calculating the number of cars you can just calculate the the VI hand because it is unique. I'm going to turn here so we are counting values okay for the number of cars so that will give us that's the formula to calculate the number of cars then has a label to the left of this number of total cars for France okay so we'll pick a label box here and label make sure you type it correctly total cars for France okay Ensure that everything is showing properly. Okay, total cars for France. Okay, this is done. This is done. As your name, center number, and kind number on the left in the footer, that is the page footer. So this is the page footer here. My name should be on the left in the footer. My details should be on the left in the footer. So I use the, the label box for that. Your name. Write your name in full as dot Jala. That's your name, center number, ng. 777 at vertical center number and candy number on the left candy number 077 on the left hypothetical candidate number okay on the left that's my left hand side on the footer okay this is also done okay let's ensure that all our data they are showing by going to the layout view the way it's going to look like, okay. Okay, all the VI hands are showing, and they are not too long. These are too long. You can just adjust this. Too long also. Adjust this. Adjust this. Take your time to adjust everything to ensure that nothing is hiding. Okay, you can see all these hashtags. It shows that some values are missing there, or they are being hidden. So you come here, adjust everything. Scroll down, okay. Everything is showing over there. Just adjust the color, just 
just the color the ports this is very necessary after doing a beautiful work and your work and all your data cannot show you will not be you will not get full marks Okay, delivered price. Great. Okay, everything is showing. Okay. okay, let's do print preview to see how it's going to look like after printing it. Okay, let's do for more pages so you can see everything like eight pages. Okay, this is great. All values in euros. Okay, great. My details are showing on all the pages. The calculation is at the end of this. Okay, close preview. Okay, report view. Design view. The sort ascending report view. Okay, everything is sorted. That's the best way to do that. Okay. Everything is done there now. Save and print your report. Make sure that you have entered your center number and name on your report. We have seen that and that has been done. Okay. Thank you for watching. My name once again is Ajala from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you.